Do you ever wonder what happens to old, defunct satellites or the remnants of space missions? Well, they don't just disappear. They stick around, orbiting Earth at breakneck speeds, creating a dangerous celestial cloud known as space junk. Space junk, or space debris, refers to all the defunct, man-made objects in space. These can range from spent rocket stages and defunct satellites to fragments from disintegration, erosion and collisions. Even something as small as a fleck of paint can become a dangerous projectile in the zero-gravity, high-speed environment of space. But why is this a growing concern, you ask? Picture this. You're zipping along on a highway at 60,000 miles per hour, when suddenly, a tiny pebble smashes into your windshield. At those speeds, even a small object can have a catastrophic impact. Now, imagine that highway is the space around our planet, and the cars are our satellites and space stations. The problem isn't just the big stuff. Tiny fragments, often too small to track, are a significant part of the space debris problem. These little devils can easily damage or destroy satellites and spacecraft, and with every collision, there's a risk of creating more debris, leading to a domino effect known as the Kessler syndrome. Over the last six decades, we've launched so much stuff into space that low Earth orbit is now a cosmic junkyard. And it's not just a mess, it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. The more junk there is up there, the higher the risk of collisions. And with every new launch, we're adding to the problem. So, as we can see, space junk is not just an inconvenience, it's a dangerous and growing problem. It's high time we rolled up our sleeves and got to work on cleaning up our cosmic backyard. After all, we're the ones who made the mess. It's our responsibility to clean it up. Now that we understand what space junk is, let's delve into the scale of the problem. The vastness of the issue is nothing short of mind-boggling. Imagine thousands of objects, from tiny fragments to defunct satellites, whirling around our planet at speeds that would make the fastest race car look like a snail. These objects aren't just lazily drifting. They're hurtling at speeds of up to 17,500 miles per hour. That's fast enough to orbit Earth in just 90 minutes. And with every passing year, the traffic in our cosmic backyard only gets busier. The problem doesn't stop there. With each collision, more fragments are created, adding to the already congested space lanes. It's a vicious cycle, a cosmic snowball effect that, if left unchecked, could make certain regions of space unusable. But why should we care? Well, every piece of debris, no matter how small, has the potential to inflict catastrophic damage upon collision because of the high speeds involved. Active satellites, space stations, and future missions are all at risk. Our orbital environment is getting crowded, and the risk of collisions is only rising. It's a problem of our own making, and it's up to us to find a solution. In the next segment, we'll discuss the risks and consequences associated with space debris in more detail. Stay tuned. Space junk presents serious threats to space exploration and the safety of astronauts. Picture this. Our planet is surrounded by a high-speed highway of debris, with objects whizzing around at speeds up to 17,500 miles per hour. Now, imagine being an astronaut or a satellite in the midst of this chaotic environment. Scary, isn't it? The risks are very real. For operational satellites, a collision with even a small piece of debris can spell disaster, abruptly ending their service and creating more junk in the process. For astronauts, these risks are even more personal. A collision with space debris could damage their spacecraft or suits, potentially putting their lives in danger, but it doesn't stop there. The debris also poses a significant threat to future space missions. As we continue to add more satellites to our orbital environment and plan manned missions to the Moon, Mars and beyond, the risk of collision increases. Just one major collision could trigger a chain reaction known as Kessler syndrome, where the amount of debris multiplies exponentially, making space exploration and satellite deployment almost impossible. The consequences of neglecting this issue are, without a doubt, catastrophic. We could lose our ability to use satellites for weather prediction, global communications, navigation, scientific research, and more. Our dreams of exploring and colonizing other planets could be put on indefinite hold. Moreover, the debris doesn't stay up there forever. Eventually, it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere and can potentially cause harm to people and property on the ground. The scale of this problem is so vast that it's not just about protecting our interests in space, it's about protecting life and infrastructure here on Earth as well. The stakes are high, 
and the consequences of neglect could be catastrophic. As we forge ahead in our quest to understand the universe, we must also strive to protect and preserve the space environment for future generations. The time to act is now, before our cosmic backyard becomes an impassable junkyard. Despite the grim outlook, there are reasons for optimism. Scientists and engineers are hard at work developing solutions. They're not just brainstorming, they're actively implementing and testing methods to clear up the space lanes. Let's take a look at some of these cleanup efforts. One technique involves the use of harpoons. Yes, you heard that right, harpoons. Not unlike those used by whalers in the 19th century. But these are space-age harpoons, designed to skewer larger pieces of debris and drag them down into the Earth's atmosphere, where they burn up on re-entry. But what about the smaller, harder-to-catch debris? For these, nets are being deployed. These aren't your everyday fishing nets, but special space nets. They work by ensnaring the smaller debris, creating a sort of cosmic trash bag. Once full, these nets are guided back down to Earth, where they and their contents burn up harmlessly in the atmosphere. And let's not forget about robotic arms. These high-tech manipulators are designed to latch onto larger pieces of junk. Once they've got a grip, they can guide the debris down into a controlled re-entry, ensuring it doesn't pose a threat to any other objects in orbit. These methods are not just theoretical. They're being put into practice, with some promising results. For instance, the Remove Debris mission, launched in 2018, successfully tested both net and harpoon technologies in space, marking a significant step forward in debris mitigation. Another noteworthy mission is the End of Life Services by Astroscale Demonstration, or LSAD for short. Launched in March 2021, this mission aims to demonstrate the core technologies necessary for debris docking and removal, a significant leap towards a cleaner space. But these cleanup efforts, while promising, are only scratching the surface of the problem. There are still millions of smaller debris pieces that these methods can't yet tackle. Plus, every collision creates more debris, adding to the problem. These cleanup efforts are crucial first steps, but the problem of space junk requires even more innovative solutions. We need to continue pushing the boundaries of technology, testing new methods, and improving existing ones. The future of space exploration depends on it. Stay tuned as we explore some of these emerging technologies in our next segment. The future holds promise for tackling the space junk problem. As we continue to innovate and push the boundaries of technology, we're also discovering new ways to clean up our cosmic backyard. Imagine a fleet of space tugs, not unlike tugboats on Earth's waters, venturing out into the expanse of space. Their mission, to latch onto defunct satellites and other chunks of debris and safely escort them out of busy traffic lanes. These space tugs could be autonomous, using advanced algorithms and sensors to navigate the complex web of objects orbiting our planet. Or consider laser systems, an idea that sounds straight out of a science fiction movie. These lasers wouldn't be used to blow up debris, that would only create more pieces to deal with. Instead, they could be designed to gently nudge objects, altering their orbits to avoid potential collisions. These lasers could be based on Earth, or on platforms in space, providing a flexible solution to the space junk problem. And then there's the concept of giant magnets. Remember how, as kids, we'd use magnets to pick up scattered metal items? What if we could use the same principle, but on a much larger scale, in space? Giant magnetic field generators could attract metallic debris, slowly but surely cleaning up areas of high traffic. These are just a few of the emerging technologies that could revolutionize space cleanup. There are other fascinating ideas out there too, like the use of solar sails to drag debris out of orbit, or advanced robotics to capture and repurpose old satellites. Of course, these technologies aren't without their challenges. They require significant funding, extensive testing, and improvements in our ability to track and predict the movement of space debris. But the potential benefits are enormous. Not only could these technologies help clean up our orbital environment, but they could also create new industries and jobs, drive technological advancement, and ensure the long-term sustainability of space exploration. These emerging technologies could be game changers in our fight against space junk, as we continue to innovate and explore, we hold the promise of a cleaner, safer cosmos in our hands. And that's an exciting prospect, wouldn't you agree? The challenge of space junk is not one that any single nation can solve alone. It's a global problem, and it requires a global solution. 
Imagine space as a shared backyard. If we litter it with debris, it's not only our enjoyment that's spoiled, but everyone's. This is where international cooperation comes into play. It's essential that spacefaring nations come together to establish clear guidelines and agreements on how we use and clean up space. This isn't simply a matter of etiquette. It's about ensuring the long-term sustainability of space exploration. Consider this. Every defunct satellite, every bit of debris, was launched by a country or a private entity. They all follow an international agreement, the Outer Space Treaty, which states that the launching nation retains jurisdiction and control over their object, even if it becomes space junk. So to prevent further debris creation, spacefaring nations must take responsibility for their space activities. They need to think about the end of life of their satellites and how to remove them from orbit. But preventing is just one part of the equation. Enhancing cleanup efforts is equally crucial. Countries need to pool their resources, share their technologies and work together on missions to remove existing debris. Collaboration is key. By joining forces, we can develop more effective strategies, technologies and policies to tackle this cosmic challenge. Only through international cooperation can we hope to tackle the space junk problem effectively. Now we want to hear from you. We're all about community here and we believe that great ideas can come from anywhere. That's why we're launching the Space Junk Cleanup Challenge. This is your chance to let your creativity shine. If you've got an innovative idea for removing space debris, we want to know about it. Picture this. You're the head of a space agency tasked with cleaning up the cosmos. What would you do? Would you employ giant space magnets? Or maybe you're thinking of a fleet of cleanup drones. Or perhaps you've got a completely new concept we haven't even thought of yet. Let your imagination run wild. So, put on your thinking caps and share your ideas in the comments below. The most creative solution will be featured in our next video. Together, we can make a difference in cleaning up our celestial neighborhood. As we wrap up our cosmic cleanup journey, remember the importance of addressing the space junk challenge. We've navigated through the risks, dissected current cleanup efforts, peeked into emerging technologies, and underscored the crucial role of international cooperation. Now it's your turn to step up. Join our Space Junk Cleanup Challenge and let your creative solutions shine. Don't forget to subscribe for more space-related content and to stay updated on the latest cosmic discoveries. Until next time, keep looking up.